This is lesson six. This will be a short one. Um, what's left to model of the major building elements are the floor plane that divide um, uh, that form um, level two and it separates level one from level two and a, a ceiling plane which is just below the roof on level uh, two. For purposes of the ceiling uh, system on level one, we're just going to use the underside of the floor that we create, and that'll be a 12 inch thick um, floor element. Uh, we did not say, let's, well, let's go to um, a scene. generic scene, which is a kind of isometric with everything that we say about front. Right. So in order to draw on level two, we will need to hide visibility of the roof, or maybe we never put that roof element on. Right there. Okay. We need to hide visibility of the walls on level two. Hi. Let's hide the visibility of the rest of things here. We don't need these sections. We do need the cat underlay for the second floor we need its outline and its elevation. So the top of that floor will be the top of this drawing. Um, let's hide the walls on floor one. I'm going to put the foundation slide where it belongs. Solid group. Let's move that to the foundation slab. Okay. And let's turn off the visibility of the AutoCAD underlay for floor one. So if I go to the top view, and I draw a shape that's going to represent roughly The slab uh, for level one, we need to cut out the, uh, the opening for uh, the stair. So there's a couple things that we have to do. Um, maybe beyond, beyond the scope of this, constr uh, uh, this lesson, we're, we're going to assume light wood construction. So the floor element is going to be embedded uh, to and aligned with the core structure of the exterior walls that, it, that en engulf it. So I should start by taking an offsetting I'm going to say 4 inches which is half the thickness of the exterior walls and I'm going to have that represent my my floor slab. Um, we don't need the exterior lines. I can turn off this underlay to show you what I'm doing here. So these lines we don't need. That shape now is four inches. Uh, the perimeter lives four inches inside the uh, inside wall. So let's turn back on that underlay. And let's draw lines that'll allow us to remove the opening for the uh, 
It's doing well. Looks like we can lock that axis in place, draw to that point, remove that shape, and the lines that border it. So we're left with an L-shaped floor slab, which we're going to extrude 12 inches in, in the downward direction. I'm going to push it down 12 triple click, make it a group, let's add a layer floor slab 2, move it to that layer, um, let's now, to see it in context with the rest of the geometry, we'll turn off this underlay, We'll turn on the walls for floor one. And you can see that slab is coincident with some of these walls. Most importantly, it, it is um, lives inside of the uh, exterior walls. Change view to face guard the x-ray, and now you can see more clearly the outline of that floor that we've created. We need to do the same for the ceiling on level two. So um, just gonna quickly save the scene. Save it as a new style. Call this floor slide two. When you Come across scenes that you uh, uh, views that you think will be useful. It's always a good idea to save them as a scene. So to draw the ceiling plane, we need the CAD drawing. Uh, well, we don't we don't have a roof plan, so we need to examine either a cross section or a long section. Let's turn on this long section. That's identifying where the ceiling plane lives. So I'm going to uh, create a layer for ceiling level two. And I'm going to draw an, a rectangle that will be the profile of that ceiling. So what have I drawn? And I've drawn the thickness of that floor of that ceiling. You can see its boundaries are the inside edge of the, the inside edges of the exterior walls. So if I push pull in the direction of the uh, uh, west wall in this case, right, I can snap holding that axis in place to the inside edge of that. Let's do the same on the other side. Select the profile that edge. I could do it with the move tool or the push-pull. I like to remind us that lock the red axis in place. Remind us that uh, because of the stickiness principle of SketchUp, moving the plane is effectively the same as, as push-pulling it. There. Okay. Let's triple click, make it a group, and move that group to the ceiling level two. Let's 
good idea. Our group is on ceiling level two. Okay. So let's turn off the CAD uh, long section underlay. Turn on the walls for level two, and you can now see the ceiling in the context of the model. Now the walls are peeking up through it. That will need to be adjusted or it could be ignored for purposes of the model. So at this point, we have pretty much modeled all the major um, enclosing elements of the The entire building. The next thing we need to do is uh, before making wall wall adjustments is to model the openings uh, for doors and windows. And we'll do that in lesson seven. Thanks.